Forrest came out on August 4th, 2020 and became an overnight success, amassing over 1.5 million players within its first day and selling over 10 million copies in its first three months. Throughout its three-year lifespan, Forrest has appeared on a number of ports, all except one, mobile. However, there was a mobile port planned for Forrest all the way back in 2020. On August 22nd, 2020, well-known gaming analyst Dan Hamad tweeted that the rights to publish Forrest Mobile was given to Billy Billy, who's primarily known for being a Chinese video sharing platform much like YouTube. However, they've expanded to publishing mobile games such as Azure Lane. From May 2017 to August 2018, Azure Lane brought in a jaw-dropping $170 million globally. They even published the Chinese version of Fate Grand Order, which accounted for 71.8% of their total annual revenue in 2017. With all that in mind, Billy Billy wanting the publishing rights to Fall Guys, a game that exploded in popularity overnight as soon as possible, makes a lot of sense. And what's funny is that they did get the rights to make a mobile version, but the real kicker is that it would only be available in China. According to Google Translate, the game would have gone under the name Jelly Bean Ultimate Knockout. While it was known Billy Billy would have been the ones publishing the game, it's unknown who would have actually made the port. It could have been Billy Billy themselves, or a different game studio would have been responsible for making the game. And while now the answer to this question would have been obvious, we weren't sure if the game would be free to play and use microtransactions just like any other mobile game based in China or other countries. And According to South China Morning Post, when they asked a Billy Billy representative, they said, quote, the company will share more details as soon as they have them, end quote. But let's be honest, it would have been free to play just like all the other mobile games out there. If it wasn't, that would have been absolutely a horrible decision. We also weren't sure how different or similar it would have been to Fall Guys. Would they contain a small set of maps that's straight out of the main game or just based on the first season? Or would they take creative liberties and make their own maps exclusive to the mobile? All of that is unknown, unfortunately. You were able to pre-register for the game on a website called TapTap, but only if you lived in China. And in seemingly two days, or on August 24th, 2020, they managed to get 130,000 users to pre-register. No official gameplay was ever released on the Chinese mobile port. No posts on their official pages, no trailers, or even screenshots. Well, the only thing we got was the announcement trailer, and that was back in August 2020. And it was just the Fogas launch trailer with the Billy Billy logo slapped at the start. And we did get some screenshots, but again, they weren't actual mobile game screenshots. They were just screenshots of old beta versions of maps with some Chinese text at the bottom. But that's the extent of the mobile port. Even when the game went free to play, we got no news from Billy Billy if they're even making it. There are videos of beta gameplay, I'm saying that with air quotes, but it's most likely fake. Although that wasn't very unusual since Foggers back in 2020 were dealing with scams and blatant knockoffs. Fun fact, if you go to the website shown on the image, that being foggersmobile.com, it redirects you to the official Foggers website. Most of you probably know that Epic Games owns Minutonic, the company who developed Fog guys. However, that wasn't always the case. Fall Guys was first published by Devolver Digital, who are known for publishing games such as Hotline Miami, Call to the Lamb, Serious Sam, and more. This is just me speculating or just guessing, but Billy Billy probably went to Devolver Digital and negotiated a deal for the publishing rights for Fall Guys Mobile, without knowing that Epic Games would want to buy the company that made the game they're currently publishing. The Verge would publish an article on the 24th of August 2020, and one of the co-founders of Minutonic, Bill Croft, said this, quote, We can confirm Billy Billy have secured publishing rights to a mobile version in China. As you can imagine, we've had a lot of questions about platforms since launch, and of course we'd love to release on more platforms in the future, but for now we're focusing our efforts on PC and PS4." End quote. I just find it strange how they were so quick to sell the publishing rights to the mobile version to a Chinese company who would seemingly only release it in China. We weren't sure if a worldwide release was ever planned, and looking at Azure Lane, which is a game that Billy Billy actually published, it was first in China in May 2017, then they released in Japan in September 2017 and an English version was released in May 2019. So I think Fall Guys Mobile would have probably followed the same model to what actually is in China, then maybe it'll expand it to Japan, and then an English version will be released maybe a year or maybe even two years later. But that is just me speculating and guessing as we weren't sure if they ever even planned on releasing worldwide. The Fall Guys development team at the time was much smaller, having only 20 to 30 people, and they had just struck gold. So they're probably busy trying to figure all this stuff out, expand the team, and with the live service nature of Fall Guys, they needed to constantly update the game to keep their playbase happy. So a mobile port was the last thing on their mind. And unfortunately, they would come to 
regret that. We also learned that Mutonic would get acquired by Epic Games on March 2nd, 2021. Every major news website was quick to make articles about the mobile port being announced. However, I was only able to find one article about what actually happened to it. Superpixel.com broke the news on July 20th, 2022, letting us know that a day prior, Fogas China would make a post on the Weibo page letting people know their contract with Billy Billy had expired and that Epic Games would be running the accounts. And the only reason I knew about this article was because I got curious about the mobile port and found a Reddit post on r slash Fall Guys game on someone wondering where the port was and a guy responded basically saying the deal was over and a link to the article in question. The fact that I found out from a Reddit post and not from the official Fall Guys page is telling. They did not give a crap about this China only mobile port. I don't think they even tweeted about it on their main pages. And why would they? The port was seemingly only for the Chinese market and the deal was made before Epic Games was in the picture. Due to the Fall Guys license getting transferred over to Epic Games, their plans on making the mobile port came to a screeching halt and according to the article and the Weibo post, the license expired. It didn't say Epic Games terminated the contract or anything of the sort, so it seemingly lasted for two years and no real development happened. So Epic Games let the clock run out and took the keys afterwards. Rumors and speculation have pointed to a possible release of an actual Fall Guys mobile port sometime in 2024. And even though some will say it's too late, the mobile gaming industry is an absolute juggernaut. In 2023, it was estimated to be worth over a hundred and seventy two point ten billion dollars and it shows no signs of slowing down as long as they market the port well and it's actually well made in the long run it could be the most popular way to play fall guys and it will definitely be the port that prints them the most money mediatonic or devolver whoever giving away the rights to the mobile port to a chinese entertainment company will be noted as a weird chapter in the game's history and seemingly everybody forgot about and frankly i find that pretty funny if you want to hear about why fall guys stopped doing seasons click this video next and thank you to our max two members for your support as always